Have you ever wanted to upgrade or change the look of your dash and seats but didn't want to spend a fortune doing it? Well, if so, stay tuned because we've got a DIY trick that will help you upgrade your entire dash for just a few dollars. <laughs> We're embracing the next chapter by simplifying our lives, exploring our dreams, and connecting with what truly matters. One of the first things we noticed when we bought this vintage RV was the outdated colors and just the stained and faded dash area. It did not go with our rustic boho style at all. So to get the dash and seats reupholstered was going to cost us thousands of dollars and we just didn't want to spend that much. We were also looking at covers and pads for the dash and seats and we didn't really like that look either. So we were starting to think that we were going to have to settle with what we had. So then we remembered back when our kids purchased their first cars and a product we used to give their interiors a fresh new look. There's a specialty product called Duplicolor Vinyl Paint, which is actually designed for vinyl, leather, and other hard-to-paint places. So we decided to give it a shot, and here's how we did it and the finished results. So the first thing you want to do is when you're prepping your dash area is you want to take off any trim pieces or anything um, that you don't want to get painted. Unscrew all those things, take all those things out. It's probably a good idea anyways because once you do your dash you may want to um, touch those trim pieces up with some paint as well because they're going to look fresh and new and they'll stand out really well on your dash. So once you get everything taken out then what we do is we want to clean it uh, clean your dash really well with a good degreasing and cleaning agent. Um, we use TSP just because we're using it here in the RV on everything else for painting the walls and stuff like that. So you take the TSP, follow the directions, mix it with some water, get some sponges, and just wipe it down and get all that, you know, any excess grease or goo or, you know, whatever there may be on the dashboard. You want to do that first to get it prepped. And then once it's prepped, as you can see, kind of I've already started here a little bit, you want to get some painter's tape and start taping off any areas that you don't want to get uh, paint on. And then another big thing too, again, I'm not a professional painter, Jenny's not a professional painter, but you want to uh, try to prevent overspray in your RV. So if you can put you know, cardboard or paper or something up in your windows. So as you're doing this on your dashboard, you're not getting overspray onto your windows and then you have to go back and scrape your windows off later. So tape everything up. Prep work is, is you know, probably the most important thing. If you do really good prep work, um, that's gonna save you time and energy, you know, moving forward. So once you have everything taped off, you have everything prepped, um, you've also TSP'd and cleaned it down. Now it's time to actually get into the actual painting. And we're gonna show you exactly how to do this to make it look good and to make it last. Um, we just wanna remind you guys that because you're doing this inside an RV, um, you really wanna get good ventilation and always wear a paint respirator as well just to avoid any of those fumes. So open all the windows, open it up as much as you can, but also wear your paint respirator. So what you can see Jenny's doing is she's just, for this first coat, you just want to get a very light dusting because what this is going to do, it's going to keep it from your paint getting clumpy and looking really bad on the dashboard. So you just go ahead and you get as much as you can of this light dusting for your first coat. And then we'll move on to the second coat after that. Okay, so now that Jenny has that first layer, that light dusting down, now we're just going to keep, we're going to kind of do the same. Um, keep going over and adding layers. You want to just do light layers, light dusting, um, and, and you just fill in kind of the areas. The key to making this look really good is don't do a lot of paint. Don't clump it up. Just really go light layers over and over again. It may take you five, six layers, but that's the key to getting this to looking really good and not having it look like you spray painted it. So then after this, we let it dry and we added a few more coats. And at first, it looked a little blotchy, especially in direct sunlight. But we wiped it down after each coat, and then we let it cure for about a week. And after that, it really started looking good. So as you can see, we completely transformed the front of the RV with the seats and the dash area. And if you look really closely, you'll see some imperfections. But when you think about it, we only spent $50 versus the thousands we could have spent. So we're pretty happy with it.
So have you tried this or something similar? What were your results and how did this hold up over time? We would love to hear your comments down below as well as any other suggestions or tips that you can add that might help us or others out. If you're new to our channel, please hit the subscribe button to see our latest videos. And if you missed our last video on how we reduced our engine noise in our RV by 25%, you should check that out right here. Oh,